WASA's fifth national schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. WASA, 50 years and beyond. This year we're talking history. The history of WASA, the water and wastewater sector, and future plans. WASA, so if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Water security for every sector. Deliver it, sustain it. We're down to the wire with only two more quarterfinalists to be determined. Good afternoon, I'm Vernon Ramisser and you're viewing the seventh preliminary match of WASA's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O 50 years and beyond. Broadcast from WASA's Public Education Center, St. Joseph. And all, of course, coming to you on the number one station for local programming, CTV. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the rules. The buzzer should only be tapped after the moderator finishes reading the question. If the buzzer is tapped prior to the moderator completing the question, the question will automatically be passed to the opposing team. There are five rounds of competition. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. Participant one on either team will answer question one alone. Participant two on either team will answer question two, etc. If any student is found answering another's question, this student will be disqualified. 100 points will be awarded for all correct answers. Zero points will be awarded for incorrect answers and for partially correct answers. The judges will decide to award 50 or 75 points or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100. Teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions by 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the question will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is, half of the points. The judges can also award 25 points for a partially correct answer. During round 5, students can collaborate as this round offers team questions and hence the answer can be discussed. Questions will be posted to the teams individually. After the host reads the question, a total of 15 seconds will be given to participants to collaborate and begin their response. If a team fails to begin their response within the allotted 15 seconds, zero points will be awarded for the question. The judge's decision is final. Today's panel of judges are all employees of WASA. They are Head Judge, Randy Marcano, Senior Manager, Internal Audit and Compliance. He's joined by Sheena Briggs-Edwards, Health and Safety Officer, and Candace Santana, Hydrological Technician, too. <laughs> the overall winning team of this year's competition gets a uniquely designed winner's trophy and $100,000 in cash for their school. With us today are Hillview College. and Holy Faith Convent, Pinal. <laughs> Kayla Callender of Holy Faith Convent, who's on your team? Deepan, Leger, and Priya. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Vindev Udit of Hillview College, please introduce your teammate. This is Samir, Savitur, and Chuck. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we'll take a short break now. This is WASA's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. So if you're ready, show us what you know, in the know with H2O. WASA, 50 years and beyond, hey, in the know with H2O. WASA. In just four short years, the level of 24-7 water distribution has changed dramatically from 18% to an impressive 73%. The accelerated infrastructural development conducted across the country has ensured that many areas received water for the very first time. Very happy when we got water for the very first time in life. Thank God, 
we get some water now. Everything is a whole lot better. Dad, look, we get water in the pipe. So happy, we just kind of express how happy we are. Mama, I don't have no problem again. Like Celebrating the joy now flowing across the country. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If no, no, we just do. Wasa, 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the no, we just do. Wasa. Welcome back to Wasa's fifth national secondary school quiz competition in the no with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Before we go any further, here's a quick recap of the topics. History of the water sector. History of the wastewater sector. Social, economic and leadership impacts. Future plans beyond 2047 and 2015. And corporatization. Round one, history of the water sector begins now. Good luck to both teams and if I can have Vindev of Hillview and Kayla of Holy Faith come forward to get the first question. It's multiple choice. I remind you to wait until I've read all the options at the end before you ring in or you'll be disqualified. In what year was the Navret Reservoir constructed? A. 1853, B. 1952, C. 1936, or D. 1962? Holy faith. D. 1962. That is correct. Well done. Thank you both. And now, Samir of Hillview and Deepan of Holy Faith. Here's your multiple choice question. Which of the following was a main component of the early Maraval waterworks? A, storage reservoir, B, ductile iron pipeline, C, hydraulic system, D, booster pump? Hillview. A, storage reservoir. Absolutely correct, well done. And now, Stavature of Hillview and Leger of Holy Faith. Here's your question. What was the Hollis Dam project called previously? A, the Hollis Pipeline Project. B, the Central Water Project. C, the Quarry Water Supply Project. D, the Local Water Project. Holy Faith. C, the Quarry Water Supply Project. Absolutely correct. Well done. And now Chuck of Hillview and Priya of Holy Faith. Here's your multiple choice question. In what year was the El Socorro Waterworks constructed? A, 1965, B, 1962, C, 1990, or D, 1970? Holy faith. B, 1962. That is incorrect. A, 1965. Very good, it was 1965, well done. Well, that's the end of round one. On to round two now, the history of the wastewater sector. Once again, the captains of each team can come forward. Multiple choice, fill in the blank. A study in 1979 identified one of the best options for meeting the sewage needs along the east-west corridor as involving the integration of several existing sewage collection systems into a centralized sewage treatment facility at... Judges. They, they both buzzed in before time, so that question is this. So we'll move great. on to the other contestants now for Samir and, uh, of Hillview and Deepan of Holy Faith. Again, remember, don't buzz in until you've heard all the options at the end in a multiple choice question. Here's your question. How many new wastewater treatment plants were established in 1980? A, four, B, two, C, one, D, three. Hillview. E, four. That is incorrect. Pass it over now. Do you your face. D, three. Three is correct. Well done. And now, Saboteur of Hillview and Leger of Holy Faith. Multiple choice again. What was the population size to be serviced by the Scarborough Wastewater Treatment Plant when it was commissioned in 1994? A, 10,000, B, 8,000, C, 11,000, or D, 9,000? Hillview. Say it again, say it again. 
E, 10,000. That is correct. Well done. And the final question in this round to Chuck of Hillview and Priya of Holy Faith. Multiple choice, fill in the blank. The Greater Port of Spain Sewage System Study was undertaken in 1998 to determine a master sewage plan to the year A, 2020, B, 2030, C, 2025, D, 2035. Holy Faith. D, 2025. That is incorrect. Check the field view. A, 2020. That is incorrect as well. The answer is B, 2030. Thank you both. Well, there's still much more to come. When we return, we'll take a look at the scores. This is Wasa's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Stay tuned. So if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Wasa, 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the know with H2O. Wasa. Forming and educating the nation, especially the young ones, about water, how it's won and processed, and how it should be protected, are just a few of our major responsibilities here at the Public Education Center. The enjoyable learning environment, cultivating conservation habits, developing healthy relationships, and giving our public an appreciation of the environment in which we produce water. WASA's PEC, the region's only public education center on water. I hear my son waking me about 10 and tell me, Ma, get up, get up, look at our water, look, we get water in the pipe. We managed to get a nice water supply. I wouldn't lie, that is the best thing I ever see happen in this beach area and community. WASA, celebrating 50 years of service. So if you're ready, show us what you know, in the know it is to And welcome back to WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. To learn more of the history of WASA, upcoming initiatives and future plans, feel free to visit WASA's Public Education Center in St. Joseph or log on to www.wasa.gov.tt. Teams, here are the scores. Hillview College, 250. Holy Faith Convent Penal, 250. Tie so far. Well done. Well, now that we know the standings, let's explore the third category, social, economic, and leadership impacts. So once again, Vindev of Hillview and Kayla of Holy Faith. Multiple choice again. Which group of employees were targeted by WASA's first local training program launched in the 1970s? A, senior health and safety officers, B, senior water resources engineers, C, senior administrative officers, or D, senior technical superintendents? Holy Faith. D, Senior Technical Superintendent. Well done. Correct. Thank you both. And now Samir and Depan of Holy Faith. Here's your question. Multiple choice again. When was the foundation stone laid for WASA's new head office building at Farm Road, St. Joseph? A, 1970, B, 1965, C, 1967, or D, 1972? Hillview College. D, 19, D, 1972. That is not correct. I will pass it over now to Deepan. C, 1967. 1967 is correct. Well done. <laughs> now, Saboteur of Hillview and Leger of Holy Faith. Multiple choice again. A foreign delegation from which country trained persons in the collection and analysis of basic hydrological and hydrometeorological data between July 1966 and 1970? A. Canada, B. England, C. Germany, or D. Japan? Hillview College. D. Japan. That is incorrect. Over to Holy Faith. C. Germany. That is incorrect as well. The answer is A. Canada. Thank you both. And now Chuck and Priya. Jack of Hillview and Priya of Holy Faith Company. Multiple choice again. 
What was the name of the employee known as Wasser's man from Atlantis who became one of the first persons to officially swim from Tobago to Trinidad in May 1991? A. Emile Elias, B. MTS Hussein, C. Raymond Lacroix, or D. Henry Seeley? Hillview? C. Raymond Lacroix. That is correct. Well done. And that concludes round three. With half of the competition complete, we'll move right along to the next round. Wasser's future plans beyond 24-7 and 2015. So once again, Vindev of Hillview and Kayla of Holy Faith Pinal. Multiple choice question. What percentage of the San Fernando catchment is serviced by centralized wastewater systems? A, 30%, B, 46%, C, 67%, or D, 83%? Hillview. D, 83%. That is incorrect. Holy Faith? C, 67%. That is also incorrect. The answer is A, 30%. Thank you both. Now, Samir of Hillview and, Deep, and Deepan of uh, Holy Faith, here's your question. Multiple choice. The Bloody Bay Pipeline Project benefited how many persons with a 24-7 supply? A, 2,600, B, 600, C, 1,600, or D, 2,800? Hillview. C, 1,600. That is correct. And now, Leger of Holy Faith, Convent Pinal, and Saboteur of Hillview. Here we go, here's your question. Multiple choice. The Universal Metering Program is expected to reduce demand by an estimated A, 7.1 MGD, B, 3.6 MGD, C, 1.2 MGD, or D, 5.7 MGD. Holy faith. B, 3.6 MGD. Absolutely correct. Well done. And now Priya of Holy Faith Convent and Chuck of Hillview. Here's your multiple choice question. Which of the following is not a strategy for sustainable water supply in Tobago? A. Introduction of a grid network. B. Installation of a service reservoir at Bloody Bay. C. Upgrading and desilting of the Scarborough Reservoir. D. Upgrade of Camelton intake. Hillview. Uh, D. Upgrade of Camelton intake. That is incorrect. Over and out to Holy Faith. A, introduction of a grid network. That is incorrect as well. The answer is C, upgrading and desilting of the Scarborough Reservoir. Thank you both. Well, four rounds down, one more to go. We take a short break, but when we return, we'll recap the scores and jump into round five, corporatization. Stay tuned to CTV, WASA's fifth national secondary schools competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. We'll be back after these. So if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. When you waste water, you waste one of the most precious resources in the world. By turning off the water while we brush our teeth and by using a watering can to water our plants, using a bucket to wash our cars, we can save millions of gallons of water every day and still get the job done. A message from the Water and Sewage Authority. So if you're ready, show us what you know. In the know it is to We've successfully completed four rounds of competition, and in a few moments, one of these two competing schools will move on to the quarterfinals of the competition. Who will it be? You're viewing CTV, and this is the premier national secondary schools quiz competition, Wasser's In the Know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. As promised before the break, here's a quick look at the scores thus far. Hillview College, 450. Holy Faith Convent Penal, 500. Very, very close indeed. 
Round five emphasizes collaboration and teamwork. In this round, teams can work with their partners to decipher the final answers. Prior to the start of competition, there was a coin toss and Hillview College won, and they've elected to go first. So let's get right into round five, corporatization. First question to Hillview College. Which of the following is not an activity to be executed in the implementation of a corporatization framework within WASA? A. Establishment of distinct legal identity for the corporatized entity WASA. B. Removal of the authority's assets and finances from other government operations. C. Development of independent policies and programs. D. Implementation of private sector commercial orientation and managerial independence. B. The removal of the authority's assets and finances from other government operations. That is incorrect. I'll pass the question over now to Holy Faith Conduct. C. Development of independent policies and programs. That is in fact correct. Well done. <laughs> Next question comes back to you, Holy Faith. Which of the following countries are identified in the study manual as having utilities with successful corporatization models? A. Singapore and Australia. B. Australia and Philippines. C. Philippines and Uganda. D. Uganda and Australia. A. Singapore and Australia. That is incorrect. We'll hand it over now to Hillview to give their answer. The answer is C. Philippines and Uganda. That is in fact the answer. Well done, Hillview. <laughs> Next question is back to you, Hillview. What is the name of the team established to implement corporate governance practices in WASA? The Corporate Governance Task Force. Or CG, that is correct. <laughs> and the final question now, Holy Faith Convent Pinal. Which international lending agency mandated WASA to implement institutional strengthening activities in order to sustain the turnaround and transformation of the authority as part of a loan agreement? Time is up. So I'll pass the question over now to Hillview. Inter-American Development Bank. It is in fact the Inter-American Development Bank. <laughs> Which school will be victorious and advance to the quarterfinal round? The answer will be revealed on the other side of the break. You're watching CTV and this is WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Us what you know, in the know it is to own. What's up? 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the know it is to own. What's up? In just four short years, the level of 24 7 water distribution has changed dramatically from 18 percent to an impressive 73 percent the accelerated infrastructural development conducted across the country has ensured that many areas received water for the very first time very happy when we got water for the very first time in life thank god we get some water now. Everything is a whole lot better. After all, we get water in the pipe. So happy, we just kind of express how happy we are. Mama, I don't have no problem again. Celebrating the joy now flowing across the country. So if you're ready, show us what you know. In the know it is to own. What's up? 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the know it is to own. Welcome back, Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks for staying with us here on CTV for WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Judges, the final scores, please. 
Hillview College, 650. Holy Faith Convent Pinal, 550. Congratulations to Hillview College. And well done, Holy Faith Convent Pinal. Good luck to the remaining schools. I'm Vernon Ramasar. Join us again tomorrow at 5.05 p.m. right here on CTV or stream with us on ctntworld.com for the final preliminary round where we'll see Bishop Ansi High School, Port of Spain, square off against Naprima College, San Fernando. Also, don't forget to hit us up on Facebook at WASA National Secondary School Quiz in the know with H2O. Bye for now and thanks for viewing. WASA's fifth national schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. WASA, 50 years and beyond. This year we're talking history. The history of WASA, the water and wastewater sector, and future plans. WASA, so if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Water security for every sector. Deliver it, sustain it.